Welcome to Elvis Tech. Today we will discuss very common issue which most of the developers and um, professionals are facing. Um, how we can change the PAM file permission in Windows. So let's start. So first of all, um, we were having having an issue while we are connecting using the PAM file, and we are getting the authentication failed and permission denied errors. So so this is the main purpose how we can resolve this issue on Windows 10. So let's start. For this purpose, I have created a um, instance on the on my AWS account. It's a Ubuntu instance, and I'm using this uh, key file. This is the PAM file which I have downloaded while creating this instance, and this is the public IP address which we will use to connect it. So first of all, we will go to the our uh, page where we have uh, the key which I have downloaded. This is the file which I have recently downloaded it. And for, for this purpose to resolve this issue, first of all, we need to change the, the permission of this file. In Windows, we, we need to go to the properties, right click on the, on the key and go to the properties and go to the security tab. Here we have the advanced button. We should first of all, disable this inheritance. So first of all, we will disable this inheritance and uh, we should click on the convert inher inheritance, inherited permissions into the ex explicit permissions on, the, on this object. So this is uh, disabled and we should remove all other accounts uh, except the administrator one. So first of all, we should um, apply this change and click on the okay. And we need to go back and, and add another user because i'm i'm a user i'm not an administrator and i'm a i'm a secondary user which which is using uh, this uh, key so first of all we should click on the on the add button and go to the principal and if you if you remember the name of your account then you can add it here if, uh, else you should click on the advanced button and find find now your account name i have my account name here uh, scroll down and here I have my account, so I just need to click on OK and OK. So I, what I need to grant it this permission to this file. I need the full permission, so I can click on the full, and all of these check boxes should be enabled. And click on the OK button, and after that, apply OK and OK. These are the steps uh, which we we need to to connect with this um, using using this instance uh, using this key. To connect with the instance so for this purpose you, as you remember that and uh, we should uh, get the connection information from the uh, from the ec2 instance page so for that we need to click on the connect button and copy this example and it's it's a complete command which we need to write it down and connect with it so uh, we should click on the uh, I, i'm using a git bash to connect it with so i can have the CLI on my um, Windows machine. So I need to copy it. But before before run this command, let me show you this, this file which, which we are having in my folder is the LB test K2, K02 PAM file. This is the PAM file and, and the permission is this. So I just need to paste the, this command. And after pre-pasting this command, we are having this uh, message are you sure you want to continue to connecting yes and after that you can see that i'm connected with with this uh, if if i remove this let me show you before uh, uh, closing this part if i remove the this this information from my uh, security security tab you can see that if i remove my user from the security and let me Exit it from this, and if I rerun this command, I should have the permission denied error because I'm not having the permission to run it. So for for this purpose, I I should have the the um, permission of my user to execute to or use this um, uh, use the permission to to execute any command on on using this uh, pem file. So I read apply all of these changes quickly and you can see that now i again i have the permission to connect this instance 
that's all thank you so much for for watching please subscribe and like this uh, video